Sense Industry Pathways program came from industry with the need to ensure an ongoing and sustainable workforce for the future. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I take this opportunity to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we are meeting today, the Wajak people of the Noongar Nation, and pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. I would also like to pay respects to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander men and women who have contributed to the defence of Australia in times of peace and war. It's my honour to be here tonight to talk about this program. Oh, before I go, I would also like to acknowledge federal and state government representatives and members in attendance and thank them for their interest in defence and the defence industry. Without your support, it would not be possible to run programs such as this. It's my honour to, ad to address this suspicious gathering this evening. When asked to speak about the Defence Industry Pathways program, I considered the format and the direction I would take. I could easily stand here and get excited about the initiative, the construct, the mode and model, and who's doing what. And of course, the life-changing effect this program has had for a number of people. That would be great, as this program has achieved much and still has much to achieve. But what I really want to talk about tonight is the buy-in from industry to this program. The Defence Industry Pathways program came from industry, with the need to ensure an ongoing and sustainable workforce for the future. The then federal government committed to funding the pilot of the program, but not just covering the cost of contracted services to deliver, deliver the program, but the TAFE education costs, PPE and wages of the trainees. This would not have occurred if it could not be demonstrated by industry that they were engaged in the program. Every step of the way, industry has worked in collaboration with the program. Industry has partnered in this program and even du during the development of the course content in support of the work South Metropolitan TAFE was taking to establish the Certificate 3 Defence Industry Pathways. Industry was engaged with business representatives as members of the Curriculum Advisory Group. South Metropolitan TAFE has been instrumental in putting together the curriculum, along with support from Maritime Defence Industry and the Industry Training Councils. Conducted through the Curriculum Advisory Group, input and advice was received from industry on what needed, they needed to support them. Noting the range of support programs available to engage individuals as apprentices, the focus turned to ancillary and support areas of the industry. This is also an area that needs workforce to be bolstered. With feedback from industry, South Metropolitan TAFE has modified and adjusted the content along the way of this pilot phase, which has now led to the re-accreditation process being pursued. Again, industry provided the feedback and this has been responded to. South Metropolitan TAFE contracted out the trainee recruitment, selection, employment and placement of trainees with host employers within the maritime defence industry to a group training organisation. The successful GTO was Program Training Services. Program has been responsive to industry feedback and needs. Through the relationship program is built with industry to place the trainees with their host employers. This program benefits from industry host placements. Along the way, there has been, has been learning from host employers and program. This has led to personal development days being created. What a lot of you may not realise that for some of our trainees, they don't have role models. They don't know what to dress up in to go to work in. They don't know how to act in a workplace. They don't know how to respond appropriately in the workplace. This is being catered for. In addition to what some of us may consider as rudimentary, resume writing, interview skills have also been covered. This aspect of the traineeship has been seen as fundamental to achieving the aim of the program in providing work-ready indi individuals to the industry. Throughout this process, our industry partners have again engaged. We have had industry representatives come to talk to the trainees. Katrina Gannon from Austell and Erin Gillard from Babcock have engaged with a number of the intakes 
Utilising these HR skills and knowledge, they have led sessions to motivate and upskill the trainees. Brian Kennedy from BAE Systems has engaged many times with in intakes at welcome events and talking about being employed in the industry. Their workshops and imparting of knowledge have enhanced the program. They are real people working in the industry who can relate to not only what it's like working in the industry, but what it's like entering the industry and the opportunities that are available. These three are just representatives of a number of individuals from across industry who have given their time at welcome events and to interact with the trainees along their journey. Once again, industry has partnered with this program. As an aside, Brian Kennedy is one of two who received an award at the graduation of Intakes 1 and 2, recognised as being an amazing mentor. I've personally had the opportunity to visit and tour many of the maritime defence industry workplaces. I'm constantly blown away with the talent, innovation, intelligence and capability that is here in WA. It's an exciting time to be in this industry. When you get to stand next to the submersible that's been to the bottom of the Mariana Trench, to see the equipment that can bend steel that's this wide, to stand in a shed large enough to house a shipping build, when you walk around a workplace and see the variety of activities being undertaken, the calibre of equipment being utilised, and engage with workers who are proud of what they do and the industry they work in and what they produce. I know I'm in the right role at the right time. This is also seen by our trainees during their in in industry tours that they undertake. This exposure provides a sense of awe and possibilities for them for their future. Here in WA, we have industry partners who have previously been solely invested in the gas and oil industry. In more recent times, there has been a move to diversify. Diversification has been embraced with engagement and production related to the defence industry. This has seen companies diversify their offerings, taking the opportunity to bid for contracts in support of primes. Other SMEs have modified their offerings, ensuring they have the facilities and skills to pivot and provide parts and products to the defence industry. This cannot be achieved without the workforce. The program has produced two WA State Trainee of the Year finalists, with one becoming the winner. South Metropolitan TAFE has won the Defence Connect Australian Defence Industry Award for Academic Institution of the Year and was a finalist in the collaboration category at the Strait Training Awards this year. And these awards were based on this program. Our trainees would not have been recognised had it not been for the support they received from this program. The nurturing, encouragement and support provided along the way, particularly from host employers. South Metropolitan could not have achieved their, those accolades without the engagement and commitment of industry. Working with South Metropolitan TAFE, which commits to delivering a pipeline of skilled workers to meet the workforce needs of the defence industry, supporting both the maritime and defence industry workforces, the members of the Delivery Advisory Group and Steering Committee, made up of training council members, TAFE staff, program training services and industry partners has been rewarding for me. The reward has come from working with entities who want to work together to provide solutions to the workforce issues within their industry. Throughout my period of involvement, Defence Industry Pathways Program has been defined by collaboration and this has been the case since inception. The program is, has engaged with a cohort of individuals who had not considered the industry for their employment. We've had career changes, school leavers, and our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander intake did not necessarily even know about the shipbuilding industry or career possibilities prior to engaging with this program. Based on the positive experiences of trainees, we have seen their friends and colleagues join the program in subsequent intake, expanding the reach of the program and bringing more people to the industry. The Defence Industry Pathways Program is an example of not only what can be achieved to support the defence industry workforce needs, but also how industry can engage and collaborate to support both Commonwealth 
and state governments in supporting their needs and the needs of the nation. The pilot program is funded to the end of this financial year and we are working hard to find ways to extend here in WA and expand elsewhere. This program not only provides what this industry needs, but epitomises everything this industry is about. Thank you.